bring in a wider audience, the King's speech has been re-edited to make it PG-13. And now, a 13-year-old's reaction to the news. King's speech! Oh my god! PG-13! Welcome back to Sticky Floor Friday, the internet movie show that's received some overnight fame thanks to my Tom York Kills Justin Bieber video. Now I can handle this one of two ways, the first one is with dignity and poise, or I can pull a Charlie Sheen and talk like I'm permanently stuck in the 80s and rattle off ridiculously insane egotistical diatribes uh, caused by misfired neurons covered in cocaine dust. And that sounds so much more fun, doesn't it? So here's to my success. Wow. An eventual meltdown. Hmm. Alright, let's talk about the movies coming out this week. We're going to start with Take Me Home Tonight. I've got some beer in my hair. Uh, Take Me Home Tonight. This is a movie whose sole purpose is to suck out any remaining nostalgia people have for the 80s that VH1 hasn't already taken from us. Now it stars Topher Grace, America's go-to guy for gimmicky time period entertainment. And I have to tell you, this movie was shot in 2007. 2007. That's four years ago. Now, they're claiming that the reason why it was held up is because there's too much cocaine use in it. Which doesn't make any sense. Like, what, were they just waiting for Charlie Sheen to show up on every talk show and make cocaine use more palatable to the American public? I doubt it. Take me home tonight. I think you're hiding something. And I think it's the fact that this movie's not so good. All right, next up we have The Adjustment Bureau, one of those movies that pretty much gives away everything in its trailer. It stars Matt Damon in Running Mode and Smoking Hot Emily Blunt uh, as people who are trying to escape that guy from Mad Men. And did John Slattery just walk right off of the set of Mad Men and not even have to change his wardrobe? This movie might be interesting, but to me, the trailer took all the mystery out of it and basically left me with no incentive to see it in the theaters. And finally, we have Rango, an animated western starring Johnny Depp as a chameleon. And it's directed by Gore Verbinski. Very strange, very weird, but it looks beautiful. I mean, this movie looks fantastic. And, you know, it's something different. I don't know, I guess at least it's not garden gnomes, right? All right, time for three questions. Number one, do you agree with the re-editing of a movie just to appease the MPAA? I do not. Number two, if Charlie Sheen is winning, what game is he playing? And number three, what do you think of this just-released picture of Red Skull? Pretty awesome.